Let me just start this video by telling you I do not normally like phone cases. I like to block my phone the same way I like to walk around my house when no one's here, naked. But that said, I do use phone cases on occasion, like when I'm expecting to probably drop my phone, when maybe when I've had a few drinks, or I'm going somewhere crowded and I'm likely to be bumped into. So when seeing this advert for this phone case from Lion, I think it's pronounced, I was impressed and I had to try it out. I spent about two months before seeing this case, searching for the perfect one, and this looked like it could be it. So I ordered it, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited some more, and finally got the case that should have been the first kind of red flag, how long I waited, but you know, Chinese unknown manufacturer, it's got a way to go. I'll kind of forgive it for that. The second red flag here should have been the packaging. This is budget packaging, no two ways about it. Just seeing it in that brown ugly box just kind of made my heart sink when it arrived before this is going to be bad. But fortunately it wasn't, it was upbeat and it was good from there on in. The case is light and thin and fits onto the phone perfectly. Almost, I'll come to that in a moment. It's got a screen protector on the front, which looks very dirty at the moment. <laughs> which is good because the phone spends, and it's designed to spend, a lot of time face down in flex mode. Oh yeah, look at that. That still makes me happy. Not as happy as this. Boom. So you do want to keep that front screen protected. Having that screen protector and the extra lip around the edge is good. It's got a slot down the middle for carrying the S Pen, which usually I just keep in my backpack because I don't want to keep it in pockets. And it covers everything around the back, including the cameras. So there's no cutout for the actual camera bump, just for the camera lenses. I like that as well text the lenses and it just looks nice so I put it on and straight away I am I was really impressed I put my S Pen in and for the first time since losing the note I was made up to have the S Pen really close by and just there to slide out ready it's the closest and next best thing to have in the silo but it's not all rainbows and butterflies I'm afraid there are some downsides to this case I don't get me wrong these may not be deal breakers for a lot of people but for me it kind of made me use the case less First of all, when you keep the S Pen on this thing, it kind of creates an issue. So the best thing about the case is having the S Pen around, but it's also the worst thing about it. That doesn't come off. That's just, that's how it is. So it takes the phone from rocking slightly on the table to being an actual genuine seesaw. However, if you do take notes in hand, then you might find it's quite handy, useful, maybe even. But for me, it's bad. And it moves and rattles. You hear that? Mm. Not good. As I said before, when you first pick it out, the design looks good, but then you start to notice little flaws and it makes it look and feel really cheap. Look, look at that. Wow, the screen protector has got a lot of. I've, well, I've not been using the case, I just put it on for this video, and yeah, you, this isn't normally here, this is just all dirt inside the case. But yeah, if you ignore that, look, look at this line. Look, I mean, you can. That's not good at all that's that's really bad same at the bottom you can see there and then just a really tacky print on there as well the ai autofocus you you make the case you don't make the phone you don't have to make up like brandon terms marketing jargon on the case what's yeah, why but inside again it's nice it folds really well, it uh, folds out, unfolds rather. All the hole cuts are great. Buttons are easy to use, however, the fingerprint when closed, you, your fingers kind of, you feel, it does work, works great, but it just feels like it's not reaching properly in there because it's inside a little groove. I mean, all in all, it's not a bad case. I think for what the case is and how it was priced, it's pretty bad, there's no two ways about it. It just feels cheap, but it does offer a good solution for a lot of people. So my favorite thing about it is having that screen protector. It, that, I've not had any issues with that. The touch works well, and it does protect the phone from being face down in flex mode, which is one of my biggest concerns. Yes, it comes with the screen protector on, but after a while, that does kind of get a bit scratched up and looks a bit ugly. So having a screen protector there is great. Can I recommend this? Honestly, unfortunately not. Not at that price point. If you've seen this for like 
ten pound max, then yeah, great, go for it. But it's not. It's it's more more than that. Um, but it depends on where you've seen it. So if you have seen it for ten pound, welcome to you. Get the case. You're not gonna be disappointed if you just want to put it on and you go and somewhere and you need just pen. But I don't think it's any. It's not a case anybody's gonna put on and keep on there full time. Let me know what you think of the case and also let me know if you have any suggestions for better cases in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more Galaxy Z Fold 3 content and also let me know if you have any suggestions or any questions about the phone and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you.